You know I grabbed them all. All right, what is that? Oh, oh, I think they just brought a new cart of goodies out. So I timed it, I timed it just right. Somebody's already done a peek in here. This has an old look to it. You know what, I think this is old. Oh, that looks like a really cool roll top desk. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Well, it is Wednesday, and if you've been watching my channel, you know what that means in Las Vegas. It is our senior day here at Goodwill, which means 40% off all but red or their yellow tags. So 40% off on most goodies. Now, I'm getting here at a strange time of the day, so it could be pretty picked over, or they might have just brought out new carts of stuff. We're gonna get inside and see which one it is and see which items we can find for resale. Let's get shop done. All right, oh, kind of light on lucky carts right now. So this guy looks like he needs a friend. Oh no, I see why he's there. All right, he does not roll at all. Go with that one. And our 50% off color is gonna be gray. All right, we're gonna hit this wood aisle first. Wednesdays do tend to be a little bit more people-y than most other days that I shop. I'm kind of loving this uh, dream catcher here or actually this one is a mandela a dream catcher would have like the the net so this is a mandela a shield of good luck if this is made with a real pelt probably deer and that is real wool. like this is quality this is not a cheaply made one so i think because it is 40 percent off that will be my first item in the cart. I am noticing that there is one braid on this side, but there isn't one on this side, and I don't know if it originally would have had one. What do you guys think? Should I remove that braid or leave it as is? Either way, I'm still getting it, but I'm just wondering what you think. And on the shelf above it, I spotted another one. This one's a little bit smaller. We are stuck. There we go. This one's, it's the same price, even though it's smaller. And that one feels like a rabbit pelt. There is a little piece here that could be silver. We'll have to test that when we get home. But again, 40% off, I'm picking it up. Which just kind of lets me know that it's not gonna be completely picked over, that I am gonna be able to find some nice things on the shelf for resale. I really kind of like this. Cherish yesterday, dream tomorrow, live today. And it's, I don't know if that's coming through, but it's a, it's a carved wood. It looks like it might be even lasered. I don't think it's that old. It's only $4.99, which means it's only like three bucks. I'm getting it. It's cute. Just a little, what would it, like a toy or a, I mean, it's really worn. It's cute, but it's really worn. We're gonna leave that. Backgammon. Hey, first I drink the coffee, then I do the things. In my case, that would not be coffee. That would be some sort of a refresher. Now, I have quit my Dr. Pepper habit. I am happy to announce I have not had a Dr. Pepper since two weeks ago it'd be two weeks tomorrow i have not had a dr pepper and i'm pretty excited about that uh but what i switched to was starbucks makes this uh strawberry acai refresher made with tea so it has caffeine in it so that has gotten me off the soda now i need to get off of that and onto something more healthy because there's a lot of sugar in that so it's always always a process, right? But I did find this new drink at the Sprout store. 
that has natural caffeine from the tea, but like a quarter of what the Starbucks has. So again, and it has no sugar. So it's a it's a progression in the right direction. And I and they're that mean they're kind of pricey, but then so are the Starbucks drinks. So I'm kind of weaning myself onto them. I love this. It needs to be painted. It's a little birdhouse with these little doors. Um, it's a crafty piece that needs, you know, I'm sure that's what it was made for. It's from 2019. I wonder if I could get Rachel to paint this. Can you imagine? I mean, the girl is trying to save up for college. So, you know, she could paint this. And then of course I would sell it for her. And I think she could do something quite lovely with that. So I'm gonna grab it. And if she doesn't want to paint it, then I'll sell it as is and let somebody else buy it to paint it. I'm trying to, oh, it opens sideways. Camacho handmade, I'm assuming it's a bar box. It says pre-embargo. Hmm. Interesting, but I'm gonna, gonna stay away from that only because I, found out that I sold a cigar box that the box originally contained Cuban cigars and uh, anything, anything from Cuba is a no-no. Those are really nice little wall sconces, like home goods style, but they need a little, they need a little touching up love. And they're stapled on here. I'm not really a fan of the stapled on. That was probably like a home goods type thing not home goods, um, home interiors, home interiors thing to do, which was a direct sale company. So I'll, I'll leave those for somebody else, but I'll put them here so somebody can find them. All right, what is that? It's uh, kind of made very ruggy. It's very ruggy. Would you come from Hobby Lobby or something like that? No, this one is just like a home goods. Compare at 30. It's sold for $19.99. I'm not really loving it. <gasps> Say it with me. Give me an S. Ooh, somebody had an S collection. <laughs> this is kind of a cool little piece. The world map. Again on wood that you can just tell it's got a little age on it. From the wear. This would only be a buck. Actually, $1.19 to be exact, but I think that's pretty cool. I'm going to grab it. Oh, there's all kinds of S's. I did put a couple of those nice S's in the cart. Um, while I don't have a wall anymore to do the letters on, I do have a shop online that I can make a little letter collection. And I'm going to start making a letter collection because I still have quite a few so watch for that and then watch for the letter that you'd like to get. Oh, that's quite emptied out. I wonder what the heck what the heck was in there that somebody pulled out of there. I'm looking to see why they would pull it out of here if the price was like really, really big. I don't know, what was it? It was, uh, doesn't say, doesn't say. That's strange that somebody would just pull that all out of the box, but there you go. Let's take a peek over in the holiday section. It's almost time to start thinking about gathering some cool holiday things because Christmas in July is a thing. It's a big reseller thing. Uh, it's caught on as a trend. So I will be doing those types of things over on the Knit Shopping Network. I don't talk too much about the Knit Shopping Network and I don't know why I don't. Um, for those who used to come and enjoy my live sales, well, guess what? They're back. They're just happening over on the Knit Shopping Network instead of here on my channel. Uh, so check that out. There will be a link in the description and I'll try to remember to put one in the first comment. In fact, there's no try to remember. I'm just going to do it. This is a 1997 classic Santa featuring the artwork of Ellen Stouffer, but it doesn't look like a Santa. Uh, I guess that's just the name of the uh, collection. It's a snowman and it's in its original box with its original, all of its original stuff. 
and it would only be six bucks so again I, it'll go in my shop now but if it's if it's hanging around it'll be featured in that sale okay let's see and if you are a reseller and you have a Shopify shop and you would be interested in doing a sale over on the Niche Shopping Network, go ahead and reach out. There is also my email address in the description and uh, just put Niche Shopping Network in the subject line and we can talk about adding you on as we start to add other resellers. Okay, these are so super cute. $2.99 minus the discount. We're grabbing those. There are more things here than I thought there would be today. Oh my gosh, that. These are amazing. Look at these. They would only be $1.19 each. <laughs> Somebody had it for 50 cents at their yard sale. I really should go yard sailing more. But I am going to pick those up. Oh. I bet this is by Fringe. It looks possibly, but it is red tag, so it is $3. So it is not going down from that with any discount. Ugh. I feel like I can get 12 to 15 for that, so I'm gonna grab it. All right, I do need to be careful because it is not July yet, and I don't wanna be storing things for a horribly long period of time. Oh my gosh, but look at the Topiary Deer for $14.99. I gotta say, I don't find this one as attractive as most of the topiaries that I end up with. I, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna leave this one for somebody else. He's going. I'm gonna go back in now. I'll leave him peeking out so somebody can find him though. Alright, this is the last little section of holiday. This is not holiday. And I'm not exactly sure what it is. It says Meg on the bottom. It doesn't open. So is it like a flower frog? I mean, there's no place to like add anything in there. Is it an incense holder? I don't know what this piece would be, but now I'm intrigued and I'm fascinated and I'm, I'm wondering how much it is because it doesn't have a price tag on it. And I kind of want to get it just to find out more about it. Let's see if there's anything else. Uh, you don't have a name. You're just kind of cool, but you don't have a name. So we'll leave you. Oh, goodness. What is going on with Santa here? <gasps> Santa, who did this to you? Oh, hello, little bird. You're awful sweet. Why do you have... Is it just... Oh, it's just felt. I thought for a minute that that was a cork. I'm like, why do you have a cork? I kind of like him. He's not old. He's a pretty contemporary little bird. But you know, we do decorate with birds too. So I'm going to grab him. I do kind of go a little more overboard when the pricing is 40% off. I gotta say. I probably wouldn't have picked those items up at full price. But I'm a sucker for a sale. Might be one of the reasons I don't shop Senior Day as often anymore. This is unfortunately broken. But even this is the thing about this quality glass. Look, you can tell this sucker got dropped. I mean, it probably landed square on the floor and you could still use it. That's some good glass right there. Too bad. Hate that it's broken. That is wanting to look like a Yadro, but it's not. I recently had someone point out in the comments that I only look at plush and I don't look at dolls and I'm pretty sure that I do look at the dolls in almost every video. I don't spend a lot of time on them because I can tell, like right from here, I can tell there's nothing here that I would pick up for resale. And this channel is about my resale journey. It is about the things that I pick up to sell. I mean, there are there are sellers for just about everything. That's why I'm the, the 
niche lady. And yeah, I don't care if you say it niche or niche, uh, but I, I hone in on items that spark some kind of an emotion in me, or I think they're going to spark an emotion in someone else like this. Like, would I put this in my home? Probably not. It's not my thing, but it is interesting. It's then I look quality wise. It's not made well. This is pretty cheaply done. So we're not going to pick it up. Had it been vintage, had it been something super cool, I'd have been all over it. Crackle glass always interests me. This one I thought was an apple at first, but it's not. It is just a nice little footed vase. Now you can see it's made in China. So we know it's not like Blinko or, you know, one of the high end brands, but it's a nice quality piece for $2.99 minus a 40% discount. I will pick that up. See what else we've got. This actually makes me really sad. Martha Buckler, and there's like a photo here. What the, the sad part for me is that this was all covered in this tape that is gonna really just rip this up when someone tries to remove it. I'm sure it's, you know, put some heat on it, <sighs> but now yeah, it's sad because that's somebody's little cherished memory right there. What are you? You are a little pot with a cork. I've been picking up a lot of cute little art pottery pieces lately. I'm not exactly sure the purpose of this piece, but see the price is right. I can pick it up for $1.19. I can spend some time learning about it with it in my hands. So I don't have to leave this one behind because of, you know, price just being someplace I know I can't deal with. I can get this, I can learn about it and I can sell it so that I will do. I do tend to take more risks than the average bear. I've been a risk taker my whole life and I'm not talking like death defying risks. I'm talking about business risks, reselling risks, getting my hands on some things that may end up, you know, not being worth picking up. Although I, I truly do like these for little um, things to put things on to give some variation. I'm, I am, I'm going to get these, but I'm going to get these for display purposes. So that's not something I'm really talking about. Um, but just some of the things I pick up that people go, oh, why are you picking up that junk? Usually because I want to learn about it. And when I learn about it, it can either go really well and it's something that I want to pick up again in the future, or it's something that I learn not to pick up in the future. So learning goes both ways. It isn't just learning the good. It's also learning the not so good. And I did see these beautiful Rottweiler plates. Oh, my heart dog. My heart dog was a Rottweiler. I miss her every day still, every day. Danbury Mint, cherished Rottweilers. Oh, just kind of tugs at my heart. I am happy to say though that our new doggy, Cora, really has the spirit of Xena. In fact, I've almost caught myself calling her Xena sometimes. Uh, so she's worked into the family really well. If you know, you know. All right, this is actually by Hearth and Hand with Magnolia. It is metal, and I think I will be sending this to my daughter. All right, look at this fabulous yard sculpture of flamingos. It's in good shape. It's not broken. It's $7.99, but I do get that 40% off. Makes this one very doable. All right, we're moving on to another aisle. Here's a little reproduction. Get your toboggan rentals here. Yeah, it was $6.99 whenever, it was from Target, 2003. So it is like 20 years old. Go figure. It's $2.99 now. You know what? I kind of like it. I'm going to grab it. Some days I'm just in a mood. I'm just in a mood to pick, whoop, pick things up I normally wouldn't, but not a broken, not a broken apple. Goodness, that almost got me. It's an interesting little candelabra. It's not old. If this were actually old and not made in China, this would be a good piece, but you stay right there. That's a cool piece that I'm wondering if I can use up on my bird wall 
as one of those filler pieces that I need. Oh, he's stuck. There we go. You know what? I feel like from a, I don't like it close up, but I feel like from a distance, this would look really good and blend the blues up there. So I'm going to, I'm going to grab that one to put up on the bird wall. And I will try to remember to include a picture of the bird wall that I refer to a lot. I've had a lot of new people coming onto the channel that may not know what that bird wall is that I'm referring to. See this little primitive cage looking thing here. I think it's some kind of an organizer and I can't quite figure out what you would put in there. I mean, it's, it's kind of neat, but oh, you can't even see it. Look at it, it's camouflage. Sometimes I try to like look at something and go, what would you be used for? Sometimes it comes to me, sometimes it doesn't. Oh look, another S. It is the day of S's, someone's entire S collection. Made it to the Goodwill. That one is, is 10, I think, and it's big. So I have to think about shipping these days. So that one's a little bigger than I want to deal with. And when I say want to deal with it, it's because the cost of shipping gets really crazy if you go over a certain size. Let's see, who makes you? You were caught in some water. Okay, this one somebody's already tried to peel, so let's just peel the one that somebody's already peeled and see if we can see who makes this. I'm just going to move that tagage over. It's already been peeled, so I'm not, I'm not causing the damage. But this is why. If they would just not cover it up, then we could see what's going on there. Okay, what do we have? We have 20th Century Baroque. Holy smokers, that is some tiny print. It looks like Gottinger. So it's like reproduction. It is not actually old. Is this the same? It sure is. It's the whole set. It's 20th century Baroque. Very pretty, but not old. It's an interesting, oh, it had no weight. Interesting vase. It's newer. Oh, I think they just brought a new cart of goodies out. So I timed it. I timed it just right. All right. She actually has already emptied that cart. I don't even know how I missed her bringing it out. So I'm going to have to go and see what made it onto the shelf. Why do I like this? What kind of little things would you put in that? I would like to see what that looks like complete. Very interesting. As is that. All right, let's, uh, let's work our ways out of the metals and I'm just gonna go skim through where I've already been just to see what came out after I went through it. Just because, oh, garlic and cheese. These are, these are kinda nice. Oh, that's dented. And that one's missing its little thing on top. You know what I mean. All right, look at this big mamba jamba. Wow, that is a huge piece. Came from Home Goods, $25, Diamond Star Corporation. So look at that telltale pontal right there. That tells you that this is not high quality glass. It's a very mass produced glass pontal. Uh, and then that's verified by the original price tags on it. But it is a beautiful piece. And you could sell this for $25 to $30. But again, the hassle factor and shipping, storing, dealing with this, not great. Just not great. Let's see what we've got on the little baggy end cap. Like, okay, I get, ah, uh, gotta look. Okay, move you up here. So we can, oh, we gotta move you up here too. Oh, that's a dream catcher. That one's a dream catcher. There. I saw carrot. I saw carrot tomato those are not common pieces it's very hard to find carrots so because it's 40 percent off day i'm gonna grab the fake food and i'm looking in the other baggies of fake food see these oh the pepper the pepper and the garlic and the potato oh and the pomegranate those are all really good pieces oh and there's another carrot okay all right i gotta get them all i gotta get them gotta be with their friends all right, now we are on the fake plant shelf where somebody has put a pillow. I'm pretty sure that doesn't belong there. 
What are you? No. Okay, so I am still looking for the white flowers, but not as voracious. Oops, that's hitting the floor. Not as voraciously as I was before because Jordan has solved her whole flower issue. Look at all those little stragglers. Wait, is there more? No. So I, we don't have to find a whole bunch of white flowers now, but I am still gonna randomly pick them up if they're nice ones. Oh my, that is quite a vase. Let's see, oh, what are you guys, little olive picks. No, we don't need those. Sometimes these can be Pier 1 or Ikea and can do well. I don't see any exciting vases on this shelf. Try this one. That's silicone on the bottom. That's interesting. What is this? Floral flare. Oh, it's to make a bouquet. I don't think I'm quite that ambitious today. I do like flower arranging, just not today. I swear, just when I feel like I'm getting a little bit better handle on my time and allocation of time, like things come up that have to be dealt with, have to be taken care of, and then I lose that time that I thought I was gonna get for something else. <sighs> Anybody relate? <laughs> so I'm still a work in progress. We went from having some really, really nice, warm, like 80 degree days back down into the 60s. So I haven't quite been able to get back onto my patio to clean up and get my craft crafting area ready to go. But it should be soon. So that that's on my plate. Oh my, look at, we had like a Hawaiian themed something going on there. Glassware, again, glassware would need to be super special for me to pick up. I did just sell a set of glasses the other day and as I'm packing them up, it was just a reminder. It's like, oh, you better make sure that the time is that is spent on dealing with a set of glassware is worth it. I don't say that to like be snooty or anything. It's simply a business decision. It is just valuing your time and what you could be spending your time on versus wrapping up a whole bunch of glasses that you might make, you know, two bucks on. You wanna make a little more than two bucks. I do believe this is Fenton Moonstone. There is a set of candle holders that I'm definitely picking up because they are only going to be $1.19 each. I don't know how I feel about these yet, but I do like the little barber bottles a whole lot. They are only $2.99, so I'll be picking those up as well. We're grabbing them. You know I grabbed them all. The, the little cups were only $1.99, which makes them $1.19. And then these little tumblers are only 99 cents each. So one, two, three, four, five, six, there's seven. We got the little oddball. I'll probably list them as a set of six and somebody will get a bonus one. But there you go, we're gonna grab those too. Okay, I just made them a whole lot of space on this shelf. It's a little uh, Mickey and, is it just mini? I'm trying to figure out if it's Mickey and Minnie. I think it's just mini. Anyway, someone's put that one in the dishwasher. Look at this cool etched piece, $2.99 on that. Okay, I have misspoken in a couple of videos calling this Swedish glass. It is not. Uh, it is a very specific pattern that just escaped my brain. I still love picking up pieces of it because I think it is absolutely fabulous. And I'm going to do something with the pieces that I picked up. They're just not worth selling individually. But, you know, this would only be 60 cents. So I'm going to pick this one up too. All right, we are getting a nice little cart full of goodies. Wooly Warm Wishes. Cute. This has an interesting look. Opal House makes that one. Mm, 
I'm actually low on mugs again. I have sold almost every mug that I have picked up lately. So we're back into looking for mugs. Mugs are not a really high end seller, but they are a steady seller. This looks like restaurant wear. And it's United States Navy. I'm trying to see what company. Let's see, it was somebody specific. This was their coffee mugs. I'm trying to see which company made these. Let's see if I can get underneath there. It's made, created by Can Art Enterprises, National City, California. Victor. So they probably specifically make this for the military, maybe. Oh, hold on. I'm going to fix this. You know what? It's going on the side there because someone's going to want to see the bottom of that. There we go. All fixed. Somebody else can buy them now. There actually seems to be quite a few of this person's mugs. You know what? I'm going to switch some things around here and get these kind of all together because if somebody finds one, you know, they're going to probably want all of them. Somebody's already done a peek in here. The actual slides are not in there. If the slides had been in there, that would have been pretty cool because this was some snow, 1970. So it's 1968 through 67 through 68 and then kind of showed on here. Oh, Easter and holidays. So the ones that are really good are like vacation ones where people have gone places and there's Possibly some historical reference on the slides. Those those can do quite well on the resale market. So, but that's a no. All right, pots and pans. And for those who think that by my saying that's a no is copying Dawn of Hudson Vintage, you're right. I watch every video she makes and it's catching. It's a catchy thing to say when you are leaving something behind. So I give her full, full credit and attribution for the that's a no. And if you aren't watching Dawn of Hudson Vintage, why not? She has fabulous information, especially about jewelry. That is her expertise. And I have learned so much. All right, we got some kitchen stuff. These kind of drew my eye. These are really nice little stoneware like soup soup mugs. They're by Gourmet Basics by Mikasa. I'm looking at these like personally. I wish they were a different color. I don't really do this coloring in my kitchen but I love the style of these. I think I might have to do a little shopping. I actually eat a lot of soup and there's never quite the right bowl. The shape of these would make soup so easy and I like that they would stack in the cupboard so oh but wait those colors I might mm, do I break it up though do I break up this beautiful set or do I look them up and see what they sell for I wish they were all blue I'm, I'm probably I'm probably gonna look for these I think I, I'm just gonna look online for a different coloration so I did a quick little uh, Google search on these and this is the complete set. It's a set of six and they were sold at Costco for 15 bucks. It's a nice, nice little creamer. I don't know why I've been so attracted to creamers lately, but I have. And this piece is interesting. It is upside down. It goes like that. I can see why they put it on the shelf like that though. Not something we need to pick up. Look at that bowl. Let's see who makes you. The seller, made in Italy. That one's actually 50% off, $6.50. Again, I don't want to ship this. It's probably worth $25 to $30, but the shipping time and cost of materials, all that, like, no, that's that's gotta stay there for me. Somebody else might want to get it though, and and not be on quite as much of a time crunch and it would be totally worth it. Cowboy Market. There's only one of the shakers, but then there's this canister set. How cute are these? Look at the little raised star on there. That one's $5.99. I mean, the price is great. I don't have an in-person place 
to sell right now, so I don't want to deal with uh, a set of canisters or basic bingo. And they've got tumblers over here and not much else. Oh, I feel like it's getting more crowded than it was when I first got here. What are you? Um, you have legs and you're speckly, but I have no idea what your purpose in life is. I don't know. Does, does anybody know? I'm going to put it someplace like, I feel like it's safer over here. And then I'm going to look at this that has a seahorse on it. Ah, I believe, is that Magenta Studios? It has a very, like a Ray Dunn feel to it. $4.99. Again, this is one of those pieces. I'll I'll take a chance on that. All right. See if there's anything else compelling. I'm getting a little a little squished over here. Oh. Oh, it's a little maze thingy. Oh, that's. Oh, that's kind of. Oh. Oh man, that that could keep you going a while. Okay, I gotta put it down. No, really. Put it down, Danny. I do talk to myself sometimes. What is in here? All these little drawers. It's cardboard. It's paper. What? Uh... And they're numbered. But they're not numbered. Let's see, there's... Oh yeah, there's 17... Oh, this feels like it would be really good jewelry storage because I could literally keep track of where exactly I put pieces. How much are you? You are fascinating. All right, I must take a closer look. All right, I can't really read what that says except Beekman and it's $7.99. But of course, we've got that discount. Beekman, $18.02. Oh my gosh. Yep. I'm grabbing that. Let's see what this little guy is. Ceramic mug with lid with birds on it. I have been drinking tea lately too. I've been like, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm turning a new leaf. $2.99 minus my 40%. Yeah, that's coming with me. The thing I'm noticing is it feels really good when you make like the good choices, the healthy choices. Even in our snack choices, we're really like changing what we buy. So. I think it's going to make a big difference mentally and physically. Oh boy, I see bread sticking out of this one. Look at her. Oh yes, I can't leave this behind. Even though I'm not a big fan of the grapes, but I must have the bread. Cute little pattern. I would just like to see who makes it, even if I'm not buying it. Majestic Wear by Oneida. You know, just to, just to keep my memory banks fresh Barclay and then there's attached to something else so those don't even match that but they're all together those are pork chow made in Japan oh those are very mid-century stoneware cool like you never find these chipped either because this stuff like is indestructible who makes this one oh my gosh that's heavy stand by and there's nothing on the bottom to tell me who makes it. So it's kind of just a, a guessing game unless you can find like a Google image search and somebody has positively identified it. It is cool though. I'm, I'm really drawn to it. Like personally, do I need to change out my plates? Because there's more there too. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'd have nine plates if I got these. I'm just saying. I kind of love them. Oh my gosh, it's one of those days. As I was tucking them down there, I noticed that the the two separate ones are a little bit bigger. They're more like serving plates. So, hmm. All right, well, let's see if they have any friends here anywhere. Benton Mirror. Mirror, mirror. <laughs> Doesn't even say. Oh, it's a candle holder. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's not be tempted by any more plates. 
not a big fan of dealing with plates for resale. Now I didn't get those for resale, although I would resell them. I would resell them if I had a like a booth, a space. Wouldn't want to ship them. There's more of this pattern, which is really, really sweet. Oh, and depression glass. So these are like an octagon pattern. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's six of them for $15 because red tags are not discounted. I'm not a big fan of the depression glass. I tend to not really pick a lot of it up unless it's like a unique serving piece or something. I will leave those for somebody else. Keep looking for more goodies. Maybe she's gonna go and fill that cart back up. How nice would that be? I think each shift brings out a cart and has to put it away. This is EAPG. It is a pear pattern, $5.99, although that's half price. I so hate leaving this, but there just isn't a big market for it, so I must leave it, and I feel bad. You know, just ask and you shall receive. Here we go, another whole cart of goodies. Ooh. What do you do with other oh, soap flowers? What? Soap flowers? I feel like those are really interesting. Okay, I'm, I'm putting these in the cart. Mostly, I wouldn't get them for resale. I mean, I'll look them up and see if they're worth reselling. I'm thinking giveaway type Mother's Day. Yeah, this is what's going through my brain right now. A jewelry tray, high quality ceramic. Hmm. See what else we've got here. Oh, pool floaties. That's going to be a thing soon. This little guy is super cute, but he is $20 red tag. And I just had to go through shipping a footstool and it wasn't fun. So I'm going to leave that guy. Oh, okay. Stand by. There's something I have to do. Yep. I have a pretty good memory. And I remember this being on the shelf and thinking, why is that up here? It's bathroom stuff. And now it just wouldn't be right if it wasn't with all of its friends. And I bet you now somebody's going to come around and say, ooh, it's a whole set. I don't know what the original purpose of this is, but my thought is that I could attach some string around it and hang earrings for you know, when I'm doing like reselling for display. So, so it's going to be less than a buck. So that's going in the cart. What is that? Outdoor land shark oh, portable folding grill. Well, baggies, baggies, baggies. They do love to put things in the baggies, don't they? What is, oh, they're curlers. See, this is not, it's not my niche, but I know some of this stuff can be worth a whole bunch of money. That's a Remington something or other. I am gonna be going a little bit outside of my norm very soon because I'm picking back up on selling clothing, shoes, some purses not I'm not gonna do designer purses because that like all yeah no um, but things that are easily shipped I have a new way that all I have to do is find them and send them in and uh, look at the listings when they're done and sell them I am very close to revealing all that but I'm testing it first I won't endorse anything I haven't tested myself. That is why the services I use like List Perfectly and WorthPoint and Not Your Dad's CPA, I use those services myself and stand by my glowing, what's the word I'm looking for? Recommendation. <laughs> So this new service, you'll be hearing about it very, very soon as 
I am sending my first items in, getting the listings done, seeing how the whole process goes. And then I'm very excited to share it with all of you so you can do the same. Oh my. Okay. Sometimes you try to figure out what things are and look at them and you still can't figure out what they are. All right, little pitiful pet section today. Not much there at all. Wow, who's ready for some weed eating? Get your weed eater here at the Goodwill. A raised kind of a camping bed. That's kind of a cool thing. You can see the usefulness of that. Don't sleep with the bugs or the snakes. Although snakes could probably, no, can snakes, can snakes climb up that? I feel like they could. I'm very, very thankful that they put that up high and not put together. Yes. Ooh, there are quite a few lamps crammed over here today. This has an old look to it. You know what? I think this is old, but it almost looks like somebody has painted it. Oh yeah, look at that plug. Probably should be rewired before using. I'm trying to figure out, did somebody spray paint this? Oh my gosh, it's heavy too. I mean, it's cool. I don't really want to ship it, but it's neat. Oh, we took some very corroded batteries out of something. I'm always appreciative of those who do the work before me. All right, I don't see anything except, oh, that's definitely a print. Thanks for the support. Oh, somebody, looks like somebody painted this and then made a print of it. Sipple, it's kind of cool. I do always kind of peek through the big stuff just to keep open to what's out there. Look, look at these chairs. These are fantastic vintage chairs, a set of four, $10 each. Actually today they'd be $5 each. I love those. I don't have a dining room table. Oh, you, oh yeah, I thought there was more on the other side. No, that's a set of four. Those are fantastic. But I was headed over to the art. Let's see what we've got. It looks pretty picked over. Don't see anything kind of screaming at me. Those are prints on Gicle. I will try to get the pronunciation correct. But honestly, if all I do, and the worst thing I do in this world is mispronounce something, then I'm doing okay. <laughs> I say it like I say it. Okay, let's see. Nope. Oh, that looks like a really cool roll top desk. Look at that. Oh. Love it. It looks very 80s to me. I feel like these were really popular in the 80s too. Not very functional in the age of computers though, is it? Oh, how times have changed. And we have the large art. And there's some cool things like I really, really here. Let me turn. I really love this. I love this a lot. No place to put it though. No place to put it and no place to sell it right now. All right, I'm over in the textiles looking through, seeing what goodies I can find. Kind of pretty. Those are pillow sham, so not much use for a pillow sham. Not very many people are using pillow shams these days. That's why a lot of them end up in the thrift stores. They get them with a set and then they just donate the, uh, the sham part. 
tablecloths and placemats. Now, nothing special today. Let's see if there's any pillows we can't leave without, like maybe a yo-yo quilted pillow that's definitely homemade for, it's going to be less than four bucks because it's 40% off. I love that. Let's see if maybe it has a friend. I see they're color blocking the pillows. That's kind of fun. Hmm. I do love color blocking. It's just so eye appealing. Those are kind of fun, but not real high quality. Yeah, I see them. What's on here? Oh, it's Harry Potter. We will leave you Harry Potter. Wow, look at this yarn. I wonder if my mom needs some yarn. You know what? I feel like somebody needs some yarn. I'm going to grab some of these. All right, I got a bit of yarn. Uh, I'm going to give my daughter and my mother first dibs, of course. And then whatever I have left, I'll probably just lot up. So if anybody's interested in yarn, let me know. And then I found baggies of crochet doilies. And there's some really nice ones in there. So $6 and there's got to be at least six doilies in each one of these. And it's not even $6. It's okay. $3.60 there about. So I'm going to pick those up too. This was also over there. It's a little set. You can tell they are definitely vintage. Little embroidered hankies. And are they napkins? Wait. What is it? Four pieces. Oh, they are handkerchiefs. Okay, they're all handkerchiefs. Just one is laid out bigger. Okay. Look at that. An old, old Walmart ticket. How long has Walmart been around? I guess a long time. But for like Less than three dollars. I love these. Oh boy, we are definitely running out of room in the cart, but that's okay because what we have left are purses and jewelry, which don't take up much room. Now today is a day I could literally find a purse because number one, I'm not here at the end of the day when it's all picked over, and number two, it's 40% off. So let's see what we can find in the way of purses. I know that we're gonna have a boho sale coming up and that could include some really cool boho style purses, jewelry, whatever else that kind of goes in the theme. We like to theme things over at the Knit Shopping Network. That's kind of what we do. You know, we niche it. We're safe keepers. That's kind of a nice little purse. Nothing's really grabbing me. I don't see anything very high end. That's kind of a nice mesh evening bag. What makes you? It's made in China. I wish it was Hong Kong. Mm, it's pretty dirty inside. So no. Olivia and Joy. I feel like I've looked that up and it's kind of middle of the road. That's different. Goes with that one. It says Fuji. All right, nothing, nothing that really floated my boat today. All right, let's take a peek in the jewelry. Let's see if anything calls to us strongly. Mm. No, I'm not seeing anything on this side. I did pull out this piece. It's an Anne Klein. And is it purple? Oh no, gray. Why did I think purple was half price? Gray is half price. Okay. This is very interesting. You know what? I think I'm going to grab that. I pulled this one out. It's kind of interesting. This is clay. I mean, these are older beads, and it's half price, so it's three fifty. I just don't understand. This isn't actually. Oh, it's knotted here. You know what? I think. I think I'm gonna get that one too. I'll be right back. Kind of like this one too. It's like 
it's mother of pearl. I mean, it's mother of pearl, I think. It's shell. I'm just trying to debate if it's mother. No, it might not be mother of pearl. It's a little chunky for mother of pearl, but it's just got a really nice luster to it was what I'm noticing. It is also half price. So it's only $3.50. I think I will grab this one too. And I'm looking again and I, I see this one. Now that other one that I got is really old and vintage. So I'm, I'm thinking this one is too. So for $2, I'm, I'm going to pull this one out and uh, get that one too. Yeah, those are nice old wood beads. We'll get that one too. All right, I think it's time to head to the checkout. We have a very full cart. Stay tuned for a recap of everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. That's coming up right now. time of day to come to the Goodwill. I'm gonna to have to remember this. Although I find all kinds of different times of day are good. It just really depends on the shift changes and when they're bringing out new carts of stuff. Because I think most of the good stuff I got was like fresh merchandise. I, oh no, that's
that's not necessarily true because there was stuff that was purple and gray tags which were older merchandise so it just you just never know I think that is the fun of shopping at thrift stores is because you really do just never know like you go to a regular store you go to the like you know you know what you're going to that store to go find and there's gonna be a whole bunch of them on the shelf and it's not really a treasure hunt this is a treasure hunt and I am so blessed to call this the way I make a living and uh, for those of you who do it too you know what I'm talking about so with that you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.